We're here with Craig Jones at Buzzworld looking at some of the products he's bringing out onto the market. So Craig, I've got a little chimney yeah. that I'm looking to basically preserve it. Is there anything you can do for me? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, we've got, so we've got a cavity wax, a self-regenerating cavity wax. Um, good value for money, lower in the range, but plenty good enough for like a road going vehicle. Um, if you're doing occasional pay, pay and plays, not a problem at all. Um, we've got a gun here as well. So that comes with this? It comes with this, yeah. And, and the, the benefit of the system is, is you screw that onto there. It's a relatively standard system throughout the industry. Lots of people use that sort of setup. So there's no adjustment of nozzle. Um, it's very simple to use. Put your airline on, pull your trigger. So you put that into your cavities. You've got a, a 360 degree lance on the end there. So you put that up to rate your chassis. Um, and you want two of these for a Jimny. Uh, brings the price down a bit. The gun's about the same price as a tin as well, so all in is, is a good price for a kit. Okay. And that, well, how long would that actually preserve the vehicle underneath? We'd sort of say two to four years, realistically. Okay. Now, yeah, now we, can, we can go higher in the range with like VCIs that release vapors inside your chassis, that kind of thing, but not everybody needs that. So this is sort of our, our lower end product. Um, it's a good price on it. That's the main reason so we go for So if I it. wanted to protect my rock climbing car, that's yes. when I'd go up to the... Yes, yeah, basically, uh, these are a sort of a good blend. Um, they don't have the VCI in. Now, when you spray this inside the chassis, you're gonna have bolts and things inside the chassis um, for outriggers and, and all this sort of stuff. And when you put that in, chances are you're gonna go one side of that bolt and not the other. So you're gonna get a good spread underneath but not on top, that kind of thing. Now, if you want a full coverage, you want a VCI that's a vapor corrosion inhibitor. You put it in there and it will release a vapor throughout the chassis for up to about four years. And so long as you haven't got a, a high, a large amount of airflow within that chassis, it will constantly protect that ins inside the chassis. And if you get any delaminated steel inside, if it starts to, basically, we call it biscuiting. So you'll get some delaminated steel come off and you have some more exposed steel where you would have sprayed previously. Now, that's now been left exposed. Now what the VCI will do is it will now protect that area. Now, this wax will protect anywhere you've physically applied it, but it won't protect places you haven't applied it. There's a certain amount of creep. You know, um, a lot of people will turn around and say, oh, you put a wax in it and it'll creep all throughout the chassis. The reality is it won't. You really need a VCI for the higher end of a product. Um, and if you're gonna be having mud go out throughout the chassis, you want the whole lot protected. So if, you, if you're going off-road, go for a VCI base like Zero Prep or War. And if you're not, if you're just a road going vehicle and you're gonna, you know, ideally overdose a little bit, make sure you put enough in there, then the self regen wax is a really good budget option for that. When you're saying about air going through, you also do an internal chassis one, is that correct? Um, yeah, we, we, do a, we do a cavity paint. Cavity. Um, so what you've got externally, typically, is you know, you've got your standard paints and then you've got a corrosion stabilizer. Now that's kind of like using a rust stabilizer, a rust killer, and then you'd use a primer. Now our primers, you just use the primer and it stabilizes the rust as well. Now, we do a cavity paint that does that internally. So you go for the highest end VCI wax, like a zero prep or war, they will release the vapor, but they will isolate uh, corrosion from atmosphere, but they won't stabilize corrosion that's already there. It's getting a little bit sort of on the end of the technical side, but basically, if you put the cavity paint in first, that will stabilize corrosion to a lower reacting form, so it's less likely to then corrode by itself. Then you would put a wax on top. So that's a belt and braces approach. You go in, you know, um, if we do a, a challenge truck and they just want it to last and they don't want to have to come back to that particular area again, we'll do two doses of cavity paint and then we'll do zero prep or war on top of that. And that's pretty much, you know, almost a fit and forget solution. Right. So if I get into any problem with this, you're on the end of the phone. Yes. Yeah. We, 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 pretty foolproof. <laughs> 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 we, we, we got them. We got the Buzzword and Facebook group. Um, and we do a lot of support on there. But I got to say, we've got a lot of customers who really know their stuff. Some of them are body shop people. Some of them are very good weekend warriors. Just you know, kind of like ourselves, you know, getting into it, using the products, that kind of thing. So, and, they, and they will willingly support other people and tell people. You know, some people get it wrong, but say, look, you know, this is where you went wrong. So this is how you can do it right. Product testing for you then. Awful. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually put our products, we develop our products, some of them, not all of them, but we de develop a lot of them. And then we put those into customers' hands. Um, and they then test them. We've got a, a bed liner at the moment. We've got war in a tintable form. We've got lots of different products. And we cater for niche. So the problem is a lot of people go on our website and it's hard to take it all in because we, we, we can treat your chassis in about 16 different ways. 
and most people just want something to put on there, which is where they start asking us for the products. You know, so you know, we start off with War as a chassis treatment, which is really good, low reactivity, um, low preparation requirements, high success rate of when you're putting it on. And then you can go all the way up to like the 2K armor, 70% as hard as steel. But the problem with that is you must do your preparation. There's no point spending all of that money and not investing in the preparation. So it's not for everyone. So we, we cater for everybody. When you say a tint, you mean you, you can put colors on some Yes, of the yeah, a tint, a tint is a color. Um, so you know, if you wanted a blue under seal, we can do a blue under seal. Um, most people don't care, they just want it black. But if you're, say, spraying inside a vehicle and you've got a B pillar, yeah. and you sprayed the whole inside of the vehicle, but you can't get that gun into that pillar, and on, especially on things like Land Rover, these pillars can be exposed. So you know, you've got a nice vehicle, it's all been professionally redone, and you've got a bit of blue, and you've got a bit of gray primer, where you couldn't get the gun. So you use the war, as it, which is tinted to the color of the body, right. into those pillars, so it looks full and proper. You, you've got the full job. Failing that, you have to use special spray guns to get in there and all this sort of stuff with a normal paint. So you get the benefit of the tint, of the color of the war, and also the VCI as well. So where can we actually find you? Buzzworld, uh, www.buzzworld.co.uk. Okay. We've got the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash buzzworld. Is that where a lot of your customers are actually talking about your products? They're they? talking about it on the, the Buzz Welding group. So that's okay. www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Buzz Welding. That's quite a mouthful. Okay. Uh, but if you, if you go on Facebook and just book in Buzz Welding, that comes up as a group. Uh, there's over 4,000 people on there. And I'd say there's at least 1,000 of them are really active. You, you, typically, you get a response within three or four minutes on there. You get it quicker than you would from us because... Sometimes we'll get 100 messages in a day and honestly, I can't keep up. <laughs> and you do have to sleep as well, don't you? Yeah, apparently so, yeah. Not last night, but anyway. <laughs> okay, well, that's wonderful. We hope to catch up with you again soon, Craig. Thank you.